Hello, welcome to Chapter 11 Pre-Class Assignment Tutorial. Question 1. How much interest is included in the future value of an ordinary simple annuity of $7,870 paid every 6 months at 8% compounded semi-annually if the term of the annuity is 8.5 years? So in this question, we're solving for future value and the first number that we see is 7870 that is our PMT, our payments and every six month represent P over Y, our payment per year, and that is two times a year. And then our 8% is the nominal interest rate, which is I over Y. And then we are given compounded semi-annually, which is compounding per year is two. That's why we have C over Y equals to two. And then we have the term of the annuity is 8.5 years, so our T is 8.5 years. To solve this question, we can first draw a timeline to help us visualize the question. So at the bottom we have T, T represents our timeline, so every we have 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, 2, all the way to 8.5 years. And on the top we have the seven, $7,870 for each payment, so every half a year we're making a payment of $7,870. So that payment come from starts at 0 0.5 and the last payment is at year 8.5. So once we understand what the timeline looks like, we can start filling in the numbers. So P over Y equals to 2, C over Y equals to 2, our compounding per year is 2. To solve for N, N equals to T times P over Y, which equals to 8.5 times 2, which is 17. Our I over Y is 8%, present value is 0, our payment is 7870 and we're solving for future value. So basically we plug in those numbers into our financial calculator and solve and compute for future value. So when we plug it into the financial calculator, we're going to get a future value of $186,499.42. So that's our future value. To calculate the total interest, we need to first find out the total payment. So our total payment is 17 payment times $7,870 for each payment. When we times these two numbers together, we get $133,790. To calculate the total interest, all we do is we take the difference between the future value and the total payment. So we do $186,499.42 minus $133,790, and the answer for the total interest will be $52,709.42. And that's question one.